Stuck in the middle I'm coming inside I'm working out Just stay for a little You say as you close the door behind me Look in the mirror Hearing you whisper in my ear Say are you a sinner Or a beginner Everyone welcome back I read a comment on my last video about my new MacBook M2 Pro and someone said that this new one can't do a monitor. You can't connect two monitors to it. Challenge accepted. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna test that out because I'm not sure about that. It might be true because there's only one HDMI plug to this and the rest are USB-C plugs. If you watched that video, I mentioned that I had a 2019 MacBook Pro and it had four USB-C plugs to it, but I'm not sure if I ever dual monitored it. Uh, I think I've always used one monitor to my MacBook. I've never done two monitors. So we're going to test that out right now on this new MacBook and see if it's true. Can I dual monitor it? I have a HDMI that has a converter to a USB-C, so I'll be connecting that to this monitor. And this other monitor right here is going to connect through the HDMI plug to this right here. All right, so first off, I'm going to connect this monitor through USB-C first. So let's see if it's is it going to pick up. <gasps> Look at that. Sorry about this old <laughs> Dell monitor. That's the only other monitor that I have that supports HDMI. But look at that. We have a connection through USB-C. So it just makes me feel like it should work. So you look at that. It's there. So let's connect the other monitor now. Okay, that is through HDMI. Is it going to pick up? Yes, look at this. I have another monitor here. I flipped the screen this way so I could just see. I don't want to deal with doing the vertical orientation yet, but <laughs> okay. After doing the rearranging, I think I have it here. See, I can go left here. I can go to this monitor here, the Dell on the left. And now I'll go to the right. And there it is, the right menu. So we can do monitor. I'm thinking we can do even four. So you think about it, why did they make this HDMI if it can do USB-C? Why not just make everything USB-C? So that's very confusing. Maybe they're trying to make it easier for people to not buy this extra cable to convert your HDMI to USB-C. That could be because most people just have an HDMI plug. If you're wondering if you can dual monitor, I just did right here. Uh, the new MacBook 2023 with the M2. Okay, so I put the monitor back here so you can see. But what I want to do is talk about MacBook some more because it seems like you guys are interested in that. Uh, there will be an M3 MacBook releasing soon. We don't know if they'll release it in October uh, in a couple months from here or will they release it in 2024 next year. Right now I'm kind of feeling like they will release that in the first quarter of next year 2024 because this M2 MacBook is still new that they just released so I don't see why they would release an M3 yet. But also, uh, why did I buy this M2 and not just wait for the M3, right? If they might be releasing in a couple of months, because there is a high chance that they may release that in a couple of months. And the thing that I've kind of realized is that whenever they come out with a new product, like an M3 chip, it might take them some time to, to work out all the bugs. So when the new M3 comes out, will it have a lot of issues? And until they can like kind of work things out, you know? I feel like when they had the M1 chip, they had a lot of issues and then they worked things out until they got the M2 to be like really solid. And that's what I was reading about and looking up when I bought this M2 MacBook that it was solid. Uh, everyone was using it very well for video editing and coding and all everything that you need to do. If you guys don't watch my channel, you know, I, I do video editing, 4K video and I also code. And I do mention that if you don't do video editing, you can basically get any MacBook and it will run fine. You know, if you're only doing coding and stuff, you don't really need a very powerful MacBook. So don't waste your money on a very powerful one if you're only doing coding. But uh, today, most people are doing video editing. Like almost everyone is doing video editing or graphics or 3D rendering, video game coding or something with that. 
So honestly, I haven't watched any M3 MacBook videos. So what I'll do is I'll look up some popular ones right now and I'll do a reaction to it to see what the differences are. Because you know, I'm guessing most of you have an M1 MacBook and maybe you're wondering, should I jump to the M3 coming up? Uh, if you have an M1, I don't recommend getting the M2. You can just skip a series. So, because you know, you're just gonna waste a lot of money on that. Uh, the M1 I still hear is very powerful, but the M2 here has been solid for me. I've been loving it. Video editing and everything has been super fast. And so yeah, let's jump into an M3 video here and we're gonna see all the changes that they might be doing and we'll compare it to the M2 here. The brand new 13 inch MacBook Pro with an M3 chipset could be on its way in 2023. And also we have more details on the M3 chipset revealed in today's report. Let's today's go into the details report. about this and also cover the details about the spec. We actually got the quad core. I'm still bummed that, that we got only the 13 inch model has the touch screen. I wanted it on the 14 inch. MacBook Pro just have the standard M chipset inside it. So we had the likes of the M1 and the M2 but the actual design of the MacBook Pro hasn't changed a bit, probably in the last sort of about seven years now. It's most likely the new design would be thinner than say the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros, but the other difference it would be is that there would be probably a few less additional ports than what we have on those two models. I did feel like they made these MacBooks a little bit thicker so that they can make them slimmer on the next models. It's just like, it's just a thing. The battery life, I wanna talk about this really quick on my m2 pro here uh, i've been enjoying the battery life it's of course it's a lot better than my 2019 it lasts me all day and even when it gets low and i plug it into charge it actually doesn't take as long like i was watching a lot of videos and people were saying get the 16 inch model because it comes with that bigger charger and you can charge it faster and uh, this one ha has actually been charging pretty fast for me I have no issues like I, I'm not waiting hours and hours like it's, it's pretty fast so I want to tell you right now if the charging thing is an issue don't think about that at all I've had so many different MacBooks and I've been okay with the chargers charging this one I'm noticing that of course it's a bigger battery I'm getting a longer battery life but it's also charging faster for me so uh, I think for the average person you're okay with this regular charger it charges fast still coming out before the end of 2023 and the macbook pro m3 is one of the devices that will be debuting before the end of the year so okay i guess the m3 will come out by october or so when this next apple event will be um, i'm curious too though if they will release it for the macbook pros with the m3 or maybe they'll do it for the um, macbook air first and then wait for the pro in 2024 uh, but either way like i mentioned before i think the m2 is very fast and they've worked out a lot of things with it already and um, i don't think i would take the chance on the m3 in case it might have all these issues until they can work out the bugs and all that with their new chip there because i already know the m2 is solid and there's no issues with it hmm i don't see a lot of changes it's all the same ports, the same memory, screen. The webcam is 1080p. I haven't tested out this webcam yet. The MacBook Pro M2 webcam. M1 and the M2 Pro uses the 720p FaceTime camera. So I see M3 will have the 1080p. It makes sense, they're, they're very slow rolling it. Uh, no one uses 720 anymore. 1080 has been for a while. It needs to be 4K already. They really need to remove the 256 gigabyte. I don't think anyone should buy that. Not even the 512. This one I'm doing the one terabyte and I feel like that should be minimum today. Like you just need one terabyte. Yeah, the body and everything is the same. It looks like the only change is just the M3 chip. They're just putting a faster chip in there. And yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I just wanted to give an update on this because I saw that one comment saying that you can only connect one monitor to this MacBook, the M2. And right here, I've connected two monitors and I wish I had another monitor with another plug that I can show that I'm, I'm, I'm betting that it can connect three monitors or even four monitors to this because the USB-C plug is working with the uh, HDMI converter. 
and this is just you know by anchor I'll leave links to these um, uh, adapters and everything everything that I have on my desktop here I leave links to it in my description so you can see everything that I bought and yeah that was my little quick update on uh, what I think about the M3 coming out and when that comes out I'll do a little more review on that as well and I'll talk a little bit more about it I hope it's been entertaining for you and I also hope it's helping you out on finding the right MacBook for your programming uh, that's what I want to kind of show most people out there because I am a programmer and to not waste a lot of your money uh, you can you don't have to get the highest model if you're just programming because I know so many things are expensive right now you're going to college and you just need a MacBook for programming just get the M1 I don't think you need to go that high or just get the M2 but the base model you don't have to go that high you can still stick with the 13 inch and uh, and get the touch bar with it and you can program very fast still because like I said I was programming on my 2019 MacBook with no issues uh, the only thing is that I do video editing so I needed something a little bit faster and so there you go I hope you enjoyed this video I'll see you in the next video uh, leave some comments below if there is something you want me to review or look up that involves programming or with the MacBook or anything like that and I'll look into it. See you next time. Code Kyle.